Phantom chicks. They are ranging from five weeks old to how old is Elote? Three and a half weeks old. Yeah. This is the oldest. Oh, actually, there's two that are that hatch the same day. They hatched October 21st, so these are the two oldest. And then this is the youngest. <laughs> so cute. And. I don't remember the date. I could find out, but I don't remember the date she hatched. So I just learned this recently, uh, which means I might possibly be making a mistake, but you can determine the sex of chicks without checking the vent. Uh, you can tell by the wings, and I just figured this out by looking online, so I am not an expert, but I think we are fortunate and have six females, and let me show you why I think that. I'll start with the youngest. Uh, so, well, first off, you're not gonna get tail feathers on a male until much later. The ideal time to do this is around 10 days old, which we did then. Um, and now we're just kind of doing it again because it's a little more pronounced before the feathers have fully come in. But on a female, when you open the wing, which it doesn't hurt the chicken, but if you haven't done it before, you should probably practice doing it gently and pulling it out in the right direction. Uh, but when you look at the wing of a female, yeah. it will have a split between the primary and the secondary feathers. So these are the flight feathers. And you can kind of see this distinct little um, butterfly wing shape. Very pretty. Which means female, whereas a male will have just kind of a straight line, one singular. Uh, line in the feathers, so that's one. Um, and yeah, if I'm correct, they all kind of have that. So there's that one. Can you introduce everyone to them by the names? They don't all have names, names yet, though. Only Elote really has a name. And Elote has a name because she lived inside for a while. See, there's that split again. Wow. Um, Elote lived inside for a while because she hatched way later than some of these gals see 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 it again i think they're all females how lucky did we get well we'll see though we don't know for sure bless you this one's really pretty she's gonna have a black stripe on that cute yeah. and then i'm gonna have to do some research before doing a follow-up video on this girl Right? You see that too, right? I do. There's like one. And that's the closest to not having that defining split that you were talking about, yeah. but it still does seem slightly well, pronounced. Yeah, look, see that smaller? Right. Yeah, I think that this one has a weird. Excuse me, miss. We'll talk about it more later, but this one has a strange beak deformity. Not quite cross beak. Kind of just a smaller upper beak. Not sure why that happened, but I'm going to do some research on it and we'll figure it out in a future video. Did you say some of the parrots at the zoo that you worked at used to have that happen well, no. from over grooming? From over grooming of the parents, it wasn't, there was just one bird that had that, um, but that's not what this looks like to me. That looked different. That had a distinct, um, I don't know, mark where it looked cut, but this just looks like it didn't grow with the other one. You see how it's still perfectly yeah. beak shaped? She's got a little bit of an underbite. It's just odd. But we'll look into it and see why it happened. It doesn't seem to cause any uh, problems eating or anything like Been that. Been no growth mm -hmm. issues or anything no. of that nature? These are our six chicks, hopefully all females. We'll see. And later, 
y'all can help us figure out whose parents they are. And I guess we need at least two names as well. I so think Hiddison, the is the only one with a name. Well, we were calling the white ones Alpha and Charlie. We have another Charlie. We do have another Charlie. She's a beautiful pigeon. And so we need four names for four beautiful bantam chicks. Let us know what you think. Elote is already named. That's the small one. That's hiding under the other bird. This, this is Elote. Don't you dare try to name Elote. That's a great name. But uh, yeah, free range. They need name names. the other five birds. <laughs> Let us know what you come up with. Uh oh. Think that's it, Mom? Yeah, we gotta bring him back though. Okay. What's up, Graham? That one's so pretty. I think she has to be tucked up, baby. But maybe not. Thanks for watching, guys.